So, folks, we have got a scenario here. That's right. Paula Jean, the ketchup queen, is back. Round whatever this is. Hashtag ketchup packets. She's been posting some really bizarre stuff on Twitter. I feel like Paula Jean is doing a lot of drugs and then, like, logging into Twitter and forgetting that Twitter is, like, a real... Like, that other people... Like, you know, like, sometimes when I do mushrooms and I load up Twitter, right? I'm like, whoa. Like, and then, like, I, I remind myself, wait a second. There's actual people that can read what I write. And so, like, when I do mushrooms and I'm just, like, deep in it, Right? Sometimes I'll just like write some really bizarre shit. And then later on, people will ask me what I was talking about. And I'll be like, yeah, I have no idea. So I feel like Paula Jean Swearingen is just on a lot of drugs. And then she goes on Twitter, but then doesn't have that sort of reality check moment where she's like, oh, wait, other people can read this. You know? And so let's read. People in the coal fields of West Virginia don't have jobs or clean water. Centrist Democrats will make fun that deep rural areas don't have access to food either. They would rather make fun of people trying instead of addressing real issues. This is why I left the D party. So one of the thing is she's she's calling everyone who disagrees with her a centrist Democrat. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, again, it sucks when you don't have food. It sucks to be malnourished. It sucks to be poor. And it sucks to not have a job. I've been in all these situations. Um, probably not as bad as people have it in West Virginia right now. But I, you know, throughout my childhood, it was pretty horrible. Um... And, but the idea that anyone making fun of her saying that, like, you know, poor people don't have ketchup packets, the idea that, like, she is, like, when I first read this, I thought it was, like, somewhat of, like, a tongue-in-cheek, thought it was, like, a little self-aware, like, yeah, like, the ketchup packets, right? Because my, my eyes gravitated to hashtag ketchup packets. And so I, I thought that it was, like, a joke, like, an insight, like, she's making fun of herself, I, she's playing along. But no, it, it sounds like she's, again, doubling down and saying that anyone who made fun of the ketchup packet thing is is somehow a centrist Democrat. Okay? So then, again, like, I don't know who Elena is, but, like, there's a lot of people, and I've got some other... i got another thread here of just people trying to have a conversation with her, and it just goes really poorly. So I just want to read them because they're so interesting. I'm so confused, not making fun. If you didn't know ketchup packets existed, how did you know you were deprived of them? And why now is it the thing you feel you were the most deprived of? In retrospect, that was the nutritional flex that was most lacking? Question mark. Paula Jean a uh, answers, I'm sure if I advocated for bombing children in Yemen under the democratic label, I could speak your language. Max! Like... Yo, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is now airing. Yo, check. But, like, seriously, like... What? So, Elena asks, No clear explanation? I was assuming there was an explanation. Paula Jean responds with, I'm sure you, at this point, would try anything to discredit me, despite how hard I tried. Huh? Huh? So someone asks you, why are ketchup packets the most important thing right now? Your response was, well, if I just bombed Yemen, then you'd like me. Oh, but if anything, you would try anything to discredit me, I say, as I die on the hill of ketchup packets and, and advocate for bombing Yemen in jest or whatever. I'm like... But then it gets even better. I'm literally just looking for an answer to the question of anything that would add to credibility. And then so sucking down Darjeeling responds with, don't feel bad. I think she copy and paste that message to anyone she doesn't feel like explaining herself to. Um, As someone who is homeless two years for two years, I genuinely don't believe you know what it's like to be hungry. There's no way you could say things like this silly and actually mean them. I don't know if you're trying to be funny or purposefully ignorant, but it's sad. And they respond in the same way. Seriously. Like, I have been poor, I have been hungry. I've, I When I was a kid, I would go weeks 
without eating. Like, the longest I've ever been without eating was probably somewhere around 10 days. Typically, I would go around five days without eating at a time. Right? As, like, a teenager. And as, like, you know, like, a, a young teenager. And so, like, I'm very familiar with starvation. I'm very familiar with lack of food access. And I would never even dream of saying that because someone has a ke- access to ketchup packets or fast food burgers, that that means that they're not poor. But here's another good thread. No wonder you didn't beat Mansion. Can't believe you were a good candidate. Lol. But you aren't from here, so... Dot, dot, dot. But you're not from here. Yeah, I'm not here. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Yet, yeah, I still don- donated to your campaign multiple times the first time you ran. My mistake. Then Paula Jean Swearingen does some investigative journalism, folks. I just checked my donor files. You didn't donate. You are a Twitter troll trying to silence the West Virginia voices. You checked the donor file. Okay, let me get this straight. Okay. 11.33 p.m. 11.40. So within 10 minutes, she managed to look up the entirety of the 2018 donor base, like database, within 10 minutes. Nine minutes, actually. Wait, is that? 11.33. 11.40. Okay, 10 minutes. And then had time to write that tweet. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm pressing X on that one. I'm doubting this. Silence voices. Lol, okay? Trust me, I definitely donated, which I now regret. I know you didn't. But I will happily send you a refund. Nah, I don't need a refund. It's my fault for actually believing you were a good candidate. You never donated in the first place. I never donated, but you were offering a refund. Lol, makes sense. I always try to do the right thing just in case I made a human error. But we both know you're full of shit. Sure, go ahead and think that this makes you feel better. Better luck next time. You're not even from West Virginia and lying about donating to campaigns that no longer exist. Sit down. Wait a second. Okay. So now, not only is this person apparently lying, which they have no reason to lie, but the campaign doesn't exist. Therefore, you, you can't have donated to it. The Bernie Sanders 2020 campaign no longer exists. Does that mean I didn't donate to it? What? I, I, so, but again, like, there's a lot more of these, uh, the, of these, like, things. And then she was going on, right, about, like, fast food hamburgers. She was got like, a real... Oh, no? Folks... I'm so excited. I just got my People's Party swag. For the people, not the billionaires. That's the thing. It's like, if if all of these people actually did genuine direct action, genuine organizing, and genuine protesting, I feel like they could actually get response. Rather, I think I feel like they could actually get results. But they're not. They're just like joining a fake party as a joke. Like, like, go back to protesting. Like, again, seriously. Like, genuinely. This is not... I like, And that's the thing with the pandemic, right? Is that, like, people are stuck inside and they get stuck in these bubbles. I'm trying to look for the hamburger tweet. Because it's really good. Anyway, I mean, like, I really... I've been following this, this weird decline, like... Go back to protesting, do actual organizing. The People's Party is not organizing. Right? It's just, it's not. Right? It's funneling energy that otherwise would be spent on organizing into Nick Brana's personal little pet project. Why don't you join the Libertarian Party? Why don't you join the Green Party? Why does it have to be the People's Party? Why does it have to be a party with ballot access in zero states as opposed to ballot access in 40 states or 50 states? That's my thing. It's like, I'm really, I'm struggling to figure out what the hell she's talking about.
<laughs> Here it is. When my stepdad got laid off in the coal mines, I didn't know ketchup packets existed. Here we go. Many children in the Appalachian coal fields have never eaten a f never eat a fast food hamburger. To hell with all of y'all that make fun of people suffering. No one is making fun of the fact that people are suffering. We're making fun of the fact that you're making a big deal out of ketchup packets. That's the joke. That's the fucking joke. Is that instead of talking about suffering, you're talking about ketchup packets and you're doubling down. There's a difference between urban poverty, where fast food is abundant and extremely cheap and affordable, and rural poverty, where there is no fast food. Those are different experiences. Both are valid, right? Paula Jean is going out there saying, oh, if, you've, if you have access to fast food, you're not poor. No, you can be poor. You can be homeless in a city and still eat fast food. You can be poor. You can be homeless in a rural neighborhood and not have access to fast food. You're still poor. You're still homeless. They're not like they're, this. This isn't like an oppression Olympics competition. Right? Brian Buchanan says, I'm so sorry for whatever it is that has befallen you. Get well soon. Paula Jean responds, I think bullies on Twitter need to get better and understand that they need to act right. And then Brian just reiterates, I had so much hope in you. Paula Jean responds, I had so much hope that people like you would be more compassionate. Right? I mean, like, again, like, I really, like, I really just... Like, look, this is the tweet that was being referenced earlier. Like, she responded to this person, like, 12 times, by the way. What? I grew up there, and we all, and we all, ha all we had was fast food burgers and convenience store snacks. The problem is literally the opposite of what you're saying. There's a plethora of fast food and not enough healthy options. Okay. Paula Jean, example, Rodal, West Virginia. The people that live there are eight and a half miles away from the closest gas station, restaurant, or market. Like, again, she's finding these, like, needles in a haystack and then saying the entire state of West Virginia lives eight and a half. What? Just because, and then she responds again, just because people don't have the same experiences doesn't mean that their struggles should be devalued. That's literally what she's been doing the whole time. Like, she literally is saying, if you've eaten a fast food hamburger or if you have access to ketchup packets, you're not really poor. And then she responds with someone's anecdote. I have no need to read that because it's not her. You apparently didn't notice your neighbors were hungry. What? I didn't read this, folks. Folks, we're going in. You apparently didn't notice your neighbors were hungry. That's the other thing. Someone is poor, starving, destitute. And they say, yeah, I at least, I, I ate a fast food hamburger off, off the dollar menu and I had a coupon or something. Well, you were lucky. What about your neighbors? Damn, maybe I should have gotten them some ketchup packets. Since you seem to think that's a meal, you talk like someone who's never been to West Virginia. What the fuck is wrong with you? Paula Jean Swergen responds, ketchup packets is a meal to people that don't have food. Folks, I'm going to be honest with you. When I was young, again, I would go five days without eating, like, very frequently, right? I had access to ketchup packets, mayonnaise packets, mustard packets, etc. I'm going to tell you right now, a ketchup packet is not a meal. I'm going to tell you right now, I have been in a scenario where I've consumed condiments and had no food to put them on. And let me tell you right, that is not satisfying. That is not a meal. That is not nourishing. What the fuck? So instead of healthy meals for Appalachia, you'd rather push for ketchup packets. What exactly are you arguing for here? Are you going to provide these healthy meals to people that cannot afford it and don't have transportation to food banks? Why is it on another poor person on Twitter? Like, I'm done. I'm done. I, I really, like, this is like, I serious. like, there is, like, I think, uh, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but it's, it's incredible to watch. 
And again, like, when I, you can go back to watch my first Paula Jean video that I made in this new, new saga of hers. And I want to end this on this tweet because I think this tweet rounds up most of this. Um, I've been covering her descent into madness since it started, like, last month. And let me tell you, it's it's getting more and more bizarre. Like, seriously, this is some really weird stuff. The idea that all of a sudden, oh, all poor people's experiences are valid. The next second, if you had ketchup packets, then that means you're not starving. Huh? What? If you had a coupon for McDonald's, you're not really starving. You're not really poor. Huh? This tweet right here explains it. Lord have motherfucking mercy.